Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, what we're going to talk about tonight is an egregious overstep and abuse of power by the House Oversight Committee, chaired by, of course, a Democrat named Carolyn Maloney. Now, the Democrats have been kind of stuck and relegated to the executive side power of things because they really can't get a lot of their initiatives done through the sitting Congress as it sits currently. So what have they done? They've leaned on executive power through the DOJ. They're now leaning on legislative power through House committees and giving subpoenas to private companies, the gun manufacturers specifically, who will not acquiesce to their power. This is incredibly important, deeply concerning, and I cannot wait to hear what you guys think in the comments field on this one, because this is something we all need to know and spread out. Now, if you're new, we are always looking to earn that subscription. We're always trying to get more people in the fold so we can further the information about the Second Amendment so we can pass it on to the next generation. And if you think we earn that subscription, thank you so much in advance for your consideration. We'd love to have you here. Now, I'm going to say a quick word from our sponsor, one of the best returning sponsors we have, STI, and then we're going to hate it on their side, and I cannot wait to reveal this to you because this speaks to so much more that is extremely concerning than just a simple subpoena. All right, let's get into it. So... I know a lot of you out there like to repair and upgrade your own guns. If you're looking for a way to take your hobby to the next level, Sonoran Desert Institute can help. The online programs at STI cover armor courses, gunsmithing, ballistics, woodworking and finishes, shooting sports management, and more. Plus, all the materials shipped directly to your door. There's never been a better time to get a degree in something you actually can use, so what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description box below so you can find out a little bit more, and thank you to STI for being a recurring sponsor on this channel. But now, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, patriots across the globe, we've got to talk about this House panel that just issued a subpoena to a private gun manufacturer for their internal records, for their data, for their sales records, their marketing across the board. This is a egregious overreach of power, but when has that ever stopped them? Let's get it. House panel subpoenas gun maker for data on rifle sales. This came out today. This is Tuesday, August 2nd. Washington AP. A House oversight panel on Tuesday subpoenaed gunmaker Smith & Wesson for documents on the manufacture and sale of AR-15 style semi-automatic rifles after its CEO refused to appear for a hearing on the firearms frequently used in mass shootings. He's talk they're talking about the hearing, the little dog and pony show that they did last week, the House Oversight Committee, around that same time they were passing the assault weapons ban, hashtag two rhinos. But that's what this is about. The Smith & Wesson CEO goes, that ain't happening. Well, the House Oversight Committee goes, well, they can't defy our will and whims and wishes from on high. Have a subpoena here, sir. And that's what we are talking about. Again, these guys are drunk with power. The House probe found that five major gunmakers took a combined total $1 billion in revenue from the weapons over the last decade, as they were at times marketed as ways for young men to prove their masculinity, even as they became a weapon of choice for mass shooters. Okay, so they're going after them for having marketing and sales in a field that requires marketing and sales, and their target demographic is males, and they're saying, well, you caused this in a roundabout way because we think that you did, and you can't do that. You can't be involved in this House Oversight Committee, but you're looking for a political pincushion, and that's what this is. Let's keep going. CEO Mark P. Smith originally agreed to testify last week before the Committee on Oversight and Reform, along with the heads of two other companies, but pulled out five days before. Democratic Car Chair Carolyn Maloney of New York said in a statement, The company also hasn't provided for the information and documents, including data about the sales of its AR-15-style firearms, asked for in its investigation into gun manufacturers, she said. The subpoena also seeks the Massachusetts company's internal communications around mass situations. You want internal communication. You want internal data and sales figures they haven't released out in public. And you think that you can just get this because you're on a House Oversight Committee? This is not your realm. You are infringing upon their second member, or excuse me, their first member rights and rights to privacy. You don't have any standing here, but has that ever stopped them on a subpoena issuance? I think not because, like I said drunk with power, and I'm about to show you what they can do with congressional subpoenas in a second. Gunmakers say the weapons themselves aren't to blame for these situations. Yeah, no kidding, they're not. They're people. The people are. Which are on the increase, but rare overall. Oh, moment of truth from the AP. Gun rights supporters argue that firearms are also popular with many people who could buy them for self-defense and have a right to own them under the Second Amendment. That's a very long-term speak for common use. We've talked about it a lot on this channel, but even the AP is alluding to common use, which was backed up and reaffirmed in three separate Supreme Court decisions 
Common use is here to stay. The AR is part of common use. It is in the everyday use of everyday men and women across this country. That's common use, and that's what they're hitting on. But now let's go over to an article about two years ago, irony of ironies, when they were going after Trump for whatever they wanted to on that day. I don't know what he had on his sandwich. I don't, I don't care. But the point is, they're going after the subpoenas here in this article. Check out what they can and can't do. And this one little piece that might stand out to you will be pretty interesting. Explainer. This is from Reuters. How powerful are congressional subpoenas? Contempt citations? Let's find out. A subpoena is a legally enforceable demand for documents, data, or witness testimony. Subpoenas are typically used by litigants in court cases. Well, that's funny because these uh, CEOs haven't done anything. There are no criminal charges. There is no cause for a subpoena of internal documentation because you can't draw that connection. This is a witch hunt, which is what they're really doing a lot of these days to have something to talk about on the campaign trail. But this little part right here, check this out. The Supreme Court has recognized Congress's power to issue subpoenas, saying in an order to write laws, it also needs to be able to investigate. Okay, what can't they do though? Congress's power to issue subpoenas, while broad, is not unlimited. The High Court has said Congress is not a law enforcement agency. Oh, shocker. And cannot investigate someone purely to expose wrongdoing or damaging information about them for political gain. What do you think this subpoena is all about? You're dragging the CEOs of companies in front of the House Oversight Committee where they have no, um, no uh, ability to do anything to them. They're just dragging them out in the public to give them a verbal tongue lashing and a tar and feathering in public opinion. They don't have the ability to do anything. So when they get defied, ooh, the House Committee can't have that, you've got to issue a subpoena. But they're kind of forgetting to note this one little part of the Supreme Court that says, expose wrongdoing or damaging information about them for political gain. This entire thing is for political gain. This is an abuse of power. But I got one more thing for you, and listen to this about the congressional subpoenas. Typically, the members of the congressional committee that issued the subpoena will vote on whether to move forward with a contempt finding, assuming the House Oversight Committee says, oh, you're in contempt of the subpoena. If a majority supports the resolution, then another vote will be held by the entire chamber. So then they have to put this, in, this, um, this subpoena contempt before the entire House of Representatives. You think they're going to do that? Yeah, about that. Especially when another election is coming around the corner and they're, this is just a dog and pony show. Just saying. But that's what they're up to. That's their most recent abuse of power. That's their most recent overreach. They've got to have something to talk about in the elections upcoming for the campaigns for November. They don't have anything on the actual things that people care about, so they're manufacturing them on a day-to-day -day basis and throwing these CEOs and these companies on the pyre of their own ambitions. And that's what I've got for you. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I will see you tomorrow morning on The Bullet Points. I'm Braden. See you later.